Hello and welcome, I am Janovison and this is Breath of Death 7. This is a game I bought a while back, and actually I thought about doing a video of it forever ago, but never got around to it. Haven't really been doing videos at all for a long time, for a myriad of reasons. Um, oh well, let's not get into that, but this is a new idea I have to, I'm going to, I think, try and review whole games, but I want to do it in parts, and some games may not end up making it to a few full review, I don't know, we'll see how it goes, it depends on a game by game basis, how much I enjoy it, how much people seem to enjoy it, so on and so forth, I'm also going to try to have written stuff along with it and everything, um, so yeah, we'll see how it goes, um, let's go ahead and options aren't that complicated, I guess you could say. It seems like something It's pretty, pretty simple. How do I get out of here? Can I just, um, escape's not working, backspace, default. Okay, good enough. Um, so yeah, it doesn't really have any options. You have these different window options. Uh, well, no. Okay, any way to go back? Delete, no. Um, we'll just. Oh, oh, okay, that works. Anyways, audio is pretty much the same thing. You just pick between like high, medium, low. Nothing, nothing fancy. So, we're gonna start a new game. And. So, uh, let's go ahead and jump into it first. We'll hop into normal. First thing is uh, any game that I try to initiate doing a review on or whatever, I want to, like I said, break it up into sections. So the beginning part would be, say, uh, like a half hour, hour, or something like that, just uh, kind of first impression type of thing. And then I'll probably have video, if possible, playing the rest of the game, or maybe just clips. Again, it just depends on the game, how well I can record, schedule, and everything. Um, and... Yeah, and then I'll do that and have written parts go along with it, and then maybe uh, have like a summary uh, towards the end of the game or something, a uh, video with actual commentating, and then I'll upload it all to a channel, maybe a website created by myself and some uh, other guys that I know or whatever, and we'll figure out what's, what's what. And I want to take a lot of community feedback with it all, um, see what you guys like, and then kind of kind of spend some time doing that. So, yeah, we'll see how it works out. But, uh, suggestions, comments, all that, highly appreciated. Let me know what you guys want. Yeah. The Thought Subtitle Omatic. Dem the Skeleton. Ooh. Now it's all up to you, brave game player. You try your best to. Ah, I killed him. Wait, I'll try not. I thought I was trying to get good old dumb killed at the first sign of battle, would you? Would you like to see the controls? In a pig's eye. Yes, of course. Of course, in a pig's eye. Even though that means no, we're going to assume that you choose it for comedic value and show you the control screen anyway. Yes, yes, of course. Of course you would. That's uh, a 360 pad. I am using a keyboard. Interesting. What strange devices? Oh, this is the PC version. If you don't have a controller, you can use the keyboard. Default controls are run is shift, menu is space, system menu is escape, run toggles, caps lock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, feel free to change settings in the option menu. So, don't really see any reason to need to run around. Ooh. I can't leave now, the villagers are defending me to eradicate the troll threat. Of course, of course they are. I see a ghost. Ah. It seems my push to talk key makes me run. That is strange. Hmm. Yes. My push to talk key is set to insert, so that, that, that is weird. Hold on a second. Let's escape. No, keep playing. Um, uh, keep playing. I thought there was a... You know what? Oh well. It'll be okay. Yes. Let's talk to you. Just character statistics. Yes, yes. Very important. Battle-hardened warrior after all. Mmm. Strength disarms the damage, blah, blah 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 blah. 
Vitality determines your defense against physical attacks, and will determines your defense against magic attacks. Now that you know all about character statistics, use that knowledge wisely. But I already knew all this, yes, quite. Save. Slot A. Hey, look at this puny little skeleton weird. Does he seriously think he can take on our chief? Only a fool looks down upon them before he's beaten them into submission. <laughs> Doesn't realize that he can restore his MP and save the game just by stepping into that pillar of light in front of us. He could really freely use his special technique on us, and then we gain his awesome. Thanks for the tip. Let's dance. Okay, so it's a basic uh, turn-based strategy, not turn-based strategy, like a JRPG style game, turn-based, you know, like the old Final Fantasies and stuff. We have our uh, attack, tech, multi-strike and death blow, combo boost and break, sure. Looks like we can pretty much just spam through this if we wanted to. Yeah, that, that's working pretty good. Also, we actually have an option when we level up. Eight. Uh, what's the difference? Oh, 50 times one, or 20 times three. That takes eight though, and that takes six. I think I'll just take the regular fireball. Yeah. Hmm. You know what? Hold on, this push talk thing is annoying the hell out of me. I don't know why it's running, why it's causing me to run and whatnot, so I am going to save. And I will be back in one moment. Okay, I'm back. Now, hopefully... Yeah. Now we can toggle the running, and I can still talk. That's great. I like that. That that comes in handy. And stuff. Got some potions, some some money. Demon purchase the truly legendary exchange and shoes. Secrets and bones. Yes, yes, yes. So really, it's... I don't know. I don't have much to say about this game. It's a very... It seems very basic, I guess. It's not all that impressive, per se. I mean, maybe the game gets better as we go along. But right now, it just seems like any other JRPG-style game. Except, well, it's kind of old school, in a sense, I guess. I'm, I'm sure you get what I mean. Like, just in uh, the graphic style and everything. Yes, very technical we are. And so, with the troll chief defeated, Dem heads back to tell his inhabitants a pallid Lennis of his success. Will Dem find a beautiful new companion to join his adventures there? Press on, bold adventurer. Ooh, overworld maps. Fancy. Fancy stuff. Do, 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 do. Oh, a womp, a wompil, wompalo, wompalo. <laughs> Monsters are at normal strength. Fireballs on trees, yeah. That shit works great. Okay. So it just seems kind of like a quirky little JRPG style game. Not too awfully impressed. Not that there's anything wrong with it. Buy weapons, armor, sell. Sure, buy. What do I have? I have 276 gold. Can be used by Sarah. That seems like that shouldn't be there. Because we don't have nobody named Sarah. So don't you think that maybe that should wait until we get somebody named Sarah? I don't know. Sure. Armor... Ooh. So what do we want though? Do we want the extra vitality or the will, vitality, and magic? Yeah, come on. Of course we're gonna take that. Um, okay. No. Back. Um. I forget. Ah, tab. Okay, so equipment, dem, weapon, iron sword, armor, mirror shield. Alright. Now, can we sell, yep, sell, bronze, sorry, I'm probably hitting those keys awfully loud. Whoa, running around. What the hell is that? If you, oh, it's another, a delt. Is that, is that an L? Yeah, delt. 
Ah, oh, so they actually, like, get scared of you after a while. That's neat. I don't know, I'm just overall unimpressed. Not that there's, again, anything wrong with the game, it's just... If you really like the old 2D JRPGs, and you want something with a little bit of comedic value, this seems like it'd be right up your alley. Yeah, I've been waiting for you to get back right here. And here you are, I'm so excited. Huh? <laughs> Where are my manners? I forgot to introduce them, so how embarrassing. I'm Sarah the Historian. I'm on a quest to explore in ancient ruins and uncover the secrets of the past, and you're just the bodyguard I need. So what do you say? Wait, what? So you'll do it? Wonderful. The first ruins I want to go visit are to the east. But before we do that, we should probably talk to the townspeople for tips and explore the countryside for fun and profit. This has got to be the most hyper girl I've ever seen. <laughs> I heard that. Did I neglect to mention that I'm also a mind reader? Well, I am, so don't go thinking about anything naughty. Ooh. Hee <laughs> hee. Oh, brother. <laughs> Forcefully joined your party. Fire and ice. Un Unite techniques are special abilities that require two or more characters to use. As you progress through the story and gain more allies, more Unite techniques will be made available to you. Cool. So now I have this little ghost chick following me. Forcefully following me try to maybe run away from her but uh she's she's a persistent little bugger she doesn't want to get off our tail okay let's keep talking to the townspeople welcome back dan what will be the usual actually I like someone with a bit more kick the usual it is one chocolate milk coming up ah lisa i so i don't know it seems like this video has actually been pretty short but I may just end it. There's really... Uh, there's not much commentating to do here. Uh, what do you want me to say? It's reasonably good looking. I'm guessing this is the aesthetic they were going for. Is the uh, old school, kind of pixelated, 16-bit um, graphics of old. So in that sense, it looks great. I mean, everything looks good. I can tell what it is, except for the battle. The battles, actually, let's go back outside so we can see that again. The battle stuff, oh, wait, so this is them and the ghost Sarah team up to embark on a fantastic adventure. Will they discover the secrets of the past? Will they find true love? Will they find two more allies to join their quest? Yes, maybe yes. Oh wait, so the things are all their own questions. Yes, they will find the secrets of the past. They might find true love, and they will definitely find two more allies to join their quest. Nice. Anyways, okay, if we go through here, run around a little bit. Oh wait, they said that I could actually do this through here too, didn't they? Just gotta fight, yeah. There we go. Yeah, so I can initiate a fight at any time. A B fly approaches, B fly approaches, and every flower approaches. See, but uh, what I was talking about is the background here. You can't really see it. I'm putting my hand up trying to show you, but that's kind of pointless. It's all just black. It's very bland. There's not really much to see. I would like a. Uh, just more there, you know? Um, what's that do? Target self plus 50% magic. No. So let's just attack the angry flower. Um, but yeah, I think something more in the background would have been nice. And you can literally just spam your way through this. Ooh, level up. Uh, she seems more like a magic user than strength. Yeah, the overworld's pretty, the towns are pretty basic, but pretty, and again, I believe that's what they were going for, so. The dialogue isn't bad, the story I can't really commentate on yet, I don't know enough about it to really tell you if it's any good or not, in my opinion. No need for paying for a great hero like yourself, sure. So that's it? No, no sleepy sleepy? No, oh, okay, okay. Adding lyrics to the victory music theme, please do not disturb. <laughs> so yeah, they d definitely don't care to for the immersion, I guess. It's a game, they blatantly know that. And they don't take themselves too seriously. Which isn't necessarily a bad thing. But yeah, so that's pretty much all I have to say at this point. I mean, I feel like I could continue to play this and play this, and really in a half hour to an hour, I wouldn't have much else to say about it. I mean, it's it's pretty simple in nature, really. Um, so that's gonna. Ooh. 
that's going to be it for this particular video. But we may... And I just fainted. Defeated. Ooh. Okay, so I guess you can't literally just spam your way through everything. Try to remember that. But anyways, um, yeah, I may continue to make videos on this. Just let me know if this is something that you're interested in seeing and then a full review of it. Um, if you want me to commentate more on it, maybe I will. I don't know. I'll, like I said, I just don't have much to say about it. It's an interesting game, interesting theme, interesting aesthetic. I like the some of the comedy behind it. Um, what is usually very serious world-saving JRPG fun. But... Other than that, I mean, yeah, I have nothing more to tell you that you can't see on the screen. Anyways, like, comment, favorite, subscribe, all that cool stuff. Let me know what you guys think of the game, um, what I could do better, different, so on and so forth. Um, anyways, just thanks for watching, guys. Bye.